Today, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing snapshot photo freeze frame effect in Premiere Pro. This effect is perfect for adding a dramatic pause or a cool photo style moment to your videos. Let's dive right in. To start, I've already imported two clips into my timeline. I'm going to start with the first clip. I want to cut it right at this specific frame and move that trimmed part to the end of the second clip. Then, I'll trim the frames before that. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Now hold the Alt or Option key and drag the first clip up to Video Track 3. Next, place the second clip on Video Track 2. With the duplicated clip selected, head over to the Effect Controls panel. Under the Opacity section, create the Ellipse Mask. From here, you can adjust the mask's position and resize it to match the shape of the camera lens. Increase the mask feather to soften the edges, and don't forget to check the inverted option. This will make sure the mask affects the outside, not the inside of the lens. Next, let's add a zoom out animation. Click on the anchor point section and you'll see a blue circle. Drag that anchor point to the center of the camera lens. Now, set keyframes on scale by pressing that stopwatch icon. Move forward a few frames, then increase the scale value until the second clip is fully visible. To make the animation smoother, select the first keyframe, set it to ease out, and drag the handle of your last keyframe to the left. Now, let's move on to the fun part, creating that snapshot freeze frame. Find the frame where you want the snapshot to occur. Right-click on it and select Insert Frame Hold Segment. This freezes your clip at that exact frame. Once you've got your freeze frame, duplicate it onto Video Track 1. Now, select the duplicated freeze frame and go to the Effects panel. Search for Lumetri Color and double-click to apply it. Now, let's make it look like an old-school snapshot. First, disable the visibility of the second track to isolate the freeze frame. Scroll down in the Lumetri Color effect to the Creative section. Set the saturation to zero to turn the image black and white. Then, go to the Vignette section and adjust these for parameters to add a soft vignette effect around the image. Next, let's make things a little dreamy. Search for the Gaussian Blur effect and drag it onto the freeze frame. In the Effect Controls panel, Set the blurriness to 50. Now, let's add some movement. With the freeze frame selected, go ahead and add the transform effect. Before we do any adjustments, make sure to enable the visibility of Video Track 2 again. Under the transform section, set the scale value to 50 and rotate the image by minus 10 degrees. Click on the stopwatch icon to add keyframes to the scale. Make sure to disable the Use Composition Shutter Angle option and set the shutter angle to 245 degrees, you can tweak this to your liking. It'll help you to achieve motion blur effect. Move a few frames forward and reset the scale value back to its original size. Similarly, you can add keyframes for the rotation in the same way. Once that's done, select both of your keyframes, set them to ease out, and drag the handle of the last keyframe to the left for smoother animation. Let's bring in some real-world detail to this effect. Drag and drop the camera viewfinder PNG onto Video Track 3. Trim the clip at the frame you want. Now, simply copy the transform effect you applied earlier and paste it onto the viewfinder image. A few frames ahead, increase the scale value again. Let's also add a fade out by applying keyframes to the opacity, starting at 100% and fading it down to 0%. Notice, password is FlickShot. Now select all three layers, the freeze frame, the viewfinder, and the second clip, and cut at the starting keyframe. Right click and nest them into one sequence. You can name it something like Snapshot. Head over to the Effects panel and search for the Dip to White transition. Drag it onto the cut between the two clips and adjust the duration to your liking. 
This will give you that cool camera flash light transition. To make it even more immersive, let's throw in a camera sound effect at the transition point. And that's it, you've now created a stunning snapshot photo freeze frame effect, just like a pro.